What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another work video. So unfortunately, it looks like Sunday there is gonna be some snow. Today is Friday, so we have a busy prep day for the first snowfall of the year. Right now I am up in our other yard, not where our office is. This is another village that we plow. Um, this is where I did that, that loader video where I piled up all the salt that we got and everything. Um, but we have this trailer here with two new salt spreaders on it that we've been storing here. So I need to move this and park it out in the, in the dirt yard out back. So the guys have no issues getting these trucks in and out of here if we do get called in. So I am gonna pull these out and park them. This will be a good test for the Colorado to see how it pulls. I'm not going very far. I'm only going like, I don't know, 20 yards or so. But I got the trailer connected already. So let me hop in here and get this thing parked and see how well, this truck pulls it. the trailer disconnected and parked over here on the side we will leave that there for the weekend and next week I'll move it again after this snowfall hopefully it doesn't happen but it looks like it's gonna but I would have parked it over here but we got all these concrete blocks and stuff and obviously the guys drive through the shop to get the trucks in and out so I don't want to jam this area up on them so over here we'll have to do but that is pretty much all i needed to do here i just gotta grab some things from inside and shut the door and then head down to my other shop to start prepping for the storm so i will see you guys down there all right so i made it to my shop i am about to load the sanders on our trucks with a bucket of salt and run them out so 
we know that there are no issues with the hydraulic lines and stuff like that. I have one of our guys working on this truck here. It is... Rodrigo, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Rodrigo doesn't like YouTube. But as you can see, that fitting right there snapped this morning on our driver. He took the truck out and tested it, lifted the dump body up a couple times and one of the fittings snapped. So he is trying to get that off and put a new fitting on there so that the dump body can go up and down again. But I am gonna run over here and I have the wheel loader warming up already. And I'm gonna pull this truck out, which is my truck. And I will load a bucket of salt into the back of that and run it out and make sure that nothing happens with that and then i have five other trucks that i need to do that with today to make sure that everything is good but let me get the salt bin open and get the trucks moved and start running these salters So, as you can see, we are loaded up with salt here. We got a ton, but it goes quick. This is full pretty much all the way to the back. I don't know how well you can see that, but I will, I will climb up there and show you guys a little later how much salt we have in here. But let me, let me move these trucks and start loading them.
Yeah, so that's pretty much how all the salters work. Some of them are a little different based off if it's actually in the bed of the truck or if it's strapped in. Like we have one truck where the chain is part of the bed and it dumps out on the side rather than straight in the back. It's not an actual sander like this. The dump body of the bed is the actual sander. So a couple of them are a little different, but this is pretty much the gist of it. Now you just let it run through and make sure everything works properly. Um, as you can see, one bucket in this salter is pretty much full, but some of them, some of them take like two, two and a half buckets. This one takes about one and a half and it is topped off completely. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do the rest of the day pretty much. And then a couple little other things here and there, but that's pretty much what you do to make sure everything is good and you don't have any busted lines during the storm. So we will run through all the machines before they go out on the road. So if something does break, it is here and we can fix it beforehand. But I will uh, catch up with you guys at the next truck. All right, so quick little update on this truck here that we were working on. As you can see, he got the fitting off and has a brand new one on there. But being that these trucks work in salt and pretty much only salt, they're only used in the winter, everything under there is rusty. But this is the old fitting here. As you can see, this swivel part snapped, well, it rusted and then it snapped right off. This is supposed to swivel so if you get pressure or something, this will spin and not crack or anything. Um, but clearly it got rusted shut or rusted stuck and ended up snapping anyway. But now we have a new one on there and it should run fine. All right, so I am pretty much done with this first truck. I have to let the rest of it come out. But as you can see, we have no broken hoses and everything is working as it should. So I'm gonna let the rest of this come out. Then I'm gonna pull it out, load the next truck and repeat the process. So as you could see, I only put like a quarter of a bucket in this truck. Um, the other one I did like a full bucket and obviously it took quite some time. So no reason to waste that much time today. I'm just gonna get a little bit of weight on them. But I have this one spreading now. As you can see, it's a little bit different of a setup, but they all do the same thing. So I'm gonna let this unload, make sure none of the hoses pop or anything, and then move on to the next truck. So I'm actually gonna 
reload this truck because I'm gonna fill it up and we're gonna park this one in the garage for the weekend and if we get a PD call or we need to go out we have one truck ready to go loaded with salt so whoever comes in can just hop in it go out and hit the roads but let me uh, let me load this up and then we'll move on to the next truck all right so we just finished lunch and I don't know if you can see it's kind of hard to see but it is flurrying they didn't say anything about snow today so hopefully it's just gonna spit out a little bit and that is it because I don't want to be stuck here all night but time to pull this truck out this is a nice truck we just got it it is a 21 I believe no a 2020 Silverado 6500 with the plow on it and a salter bolted right to the frame so I will hop in this one and load it up and then make sure that we have no issues with this one so let me get to it one unloading right now well I have that going I am gonna attempt to slide this liquid tank over a little bit as you can see it's not exactly centered and it is loaded up with liquid so it's too heavy for our forklift to lick to lift so I am gonna grab the loader and put the bucket either either here or here and try and slide it over a little bit until we get to our marks so that is the task at hand now this thing is loaded up with liquid so it is really heavy but let's uh, see what happens So we got this tank pretty much exactly where we want it. So he's going to bolt them down and I am going to go back and check on this other truck. See how this spreader is working. We have been having an issue with it and it looks like the issue occurred again. So for some reason, 
this spreader, let's see, there should still be salt. Yep. For some reason, this spreader likes to work for, I don't know, five or 10 minutes and then it'll stop. And there should be a red light on in here. Yep, red light flashing. So if I turn that off, turn it back on. Now it's working again. So it's not the end of the world. The driver will just have to pay attention for that light because if you think you're salting and you're not, that is just a waste of time. And then you're gonna have to go out and do it again later. So at least it works and we will deal with whatever is causing it to turn off at a later date. But I'm gonna finish letting that dump. Look, it just turned off again. And that was only maybe a minute, 30 seconds. So definitely, definitely something up with it. But I, what? That worked for two seconds, not even. So I'm gonna leave that running. Well, I'm gonna attempt to leave it running and get this truck parked inside. This is the one that I loaded up with salt earlier. So let me hop in here and get this in the garage for the rest of the night. But I'm gonna park this and then hopefully that truck is empty and I will get on to the next one. So this one is all unloaded and parked. Time to grab the next one. I think I have three trucks left to three, two, two or three. I got to check. Um, but yeah, so far so good. No broken hoses or anything. And the only issue is this one with it turning off for some reason. So not the end of the world, but on to the next one.
right? So as you can see, here I'll show you real quick, but as you can see, some of the salt doesn't fit inside because this sander is smaller than the bucket on the loader. So we lose a little bit here. That is why I didn't dump too much. This happens every time with this truck. So we'll end up shoveling that or just scraping it all the way back into the bin with the loader. So let me pull this back into the bin and then hopefully we have no issues unloading the salt, but the sander usually works perfect. So we should have no problem at all. This one is nice because all you do, you hit that. Now your sander's on. So a lot of the other ones are hydraulic driven where this is just electric. We have a couple that are electric, but the bigger trucks are pretty much all hydraulic driven. So I'm gonna let this unload. Hopefully we have no issues. I'm sure we won't, but you never know. So that's why we do this. But I'm gonna let this unload and then go grab that other truck that is up in the circle. And as long as everything goes well with that, then we have nothing to worry about. But I will catch up with you guys when this one is done unloading. All right, so this truck is pretty much empty. We have a little bit left here. I'll push that off. But I'm gonna let the rest of this run out. That should take about a minute or so, maybe, maybe two minutes. But I'm gonna let the rest of that run out and then head up to the circle, switch trucks and get this day over with and hope that there is no snow this weekend. So if it snows, we're ready. If not, I'll be happy. Uh, either way, we're ready for it. All right, so I got this truck parked again. It dumped it perfectly, no issues at all. So now we have nothing to worry about once the first snowfall comes. Obviously, I didn't do this truck and I didn't do these two trucks. This one doesn't have a sander in it yet. And I didn't do this truck because this one dumps out up here rather than in the back like the rest of them. Um, I was talking about this truck a little earlier. I'm gonna try and peek in here. I don't know how well, I don't know how well you can see that, but that one has a chain right in the dump body. Um, and it actually pulls it forward and then dumps out on that spinner in front of the rear wheel. So I didn't want to do that because then obviously I would be dumping out in the parking lot. So that is really the only one we're going to have to worry about if it goes out. But I am going to get this salt cleaned up. I got a little bit here I got to clean up and then I just got to pile this up. But let me run up here real quick, show you how much salt we got. So quite a bit. It goes all the way to the back there. Oh, I just dumped all our shovels, but it goes all the way to the back there. So I am gonna pile this up and pretty much call it a day. But luckily everything got tested and we had no major issues. Just that one sander that likes to turn off. But now I'm not too worried about the storm coming up. Hopefully it doesn't even snow, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am probably gonna be making more work videos because if it does snow this weekend, my car is getting parked and I'm not taking it out until springtime once all the salt is washed off the roads. 
because that car has like no salt on it at all and definitely want to keep it that way but either way i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a comment down below if you didn't leave a comment anyway i'll see you guys next time peace